everybody. I'm back at my favorite spot, the play food area right behind me. Um, I don't know if you notice, it's shifted a little bit. Um, we're building kind of storage for board games on this side uh, where the supermarket was. So um, I took apart some um, open shelf in here, moved the toys away to somewhere else, and the supermarket is now here. Um, the kitchen moved a little bit. Um, so uh, we're fixing up, we're playing around in the playroom <laughs> with uh, configuration and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm here because I am planning to build another play food furniture. I know. Um, when I build this dining set right behind me um, that is full with cakes right now, this is a spoiler for you, um, I said in the video that this is it, this is the last furniture we're gonna add. Um, we don't have uh, room for more, this is enough, <laughs> it's more than enough, um, but I was wrong. I was definitely wrong and we're definitely in need of a bakery. So this is what I'm gonna build today. I'm gonna build a play bakery um, and we're gonna start right away. Uh, before that, if you're new here, welcome to the DIY Nanny channel. This is what I do on my channel, I create uh, DIYs, hacks, little crafts for the kids in the playroom to play with. You can check out the rest of my videos and if you like them, you can hit that subscribe button. Now let's begin. Watching my videos for a while now you probably noticed that I make a lot of felt cakes this is uh, something I really love to make also to replicate uh, other cakes that I see online and not all of them end up in our play kitchen I give some to friends and I send some to my nieces but um, a large amount ends up here and you can see um, the <laughs> collection right behind me at first, um, we just put it in the oven for storage, right? Because we were playing with it anyway, and there wasn't a lot of it. And as I started to add on some more, I put some in the supermarket to sell, because you can sell cake, right? Um, but eventually, it kind of uh, took over the kitchen, and we have some on a countertop and some just on this table waiting. And that's without even mentioning the cupcakes and other dessert, like these cuties that I just made. Um, from a book, the smart cookie book. So I was thinking um, I can solve this storage situation and add another uh, play furniture and make a bakery. So we do have our cart, our ice cream slash burger slash whatever you wanna sell in cart. Um, and we did for a, a, a period of time sell like um, cupcakes in there and some cakes but uh, the storage is the big problem, right? So I was thinking of making um, a separate store <laughs> for cakes um, and a dessert, um, just a little bakery for us. So I have a plan right here. Um, I try to make it as simple as possible because I am making it from scratch. I have a half an inch plywood and I'm gonna cut it and glue it and do everything uh, from beginning to end and share it with you. Um, let me try and explain my doodling. I don't know if it's uh, very easy to understand, uh, but I understand it and you're gonna see the whole process, so you're definitely gonna catch up. So the plan is to make a box um, for storage and uh, it's gonna be open from the back side, basically where the baker stands to sell the cake, um, with an extra shelf um, so split into two sections to store the cakes. Then on the top, I want to have open shelves or maybe I'll cover it with plexiglass. Um, I have to see if I can find a big enough piece. Um, it works nicely on a refrigerator, so I was thinking maybe I can add that here as well. And those shelves are going to be um, on a diagonal so they're gonna get a bit smaller so it will be like nice looking in the front it's gonna be covered and I'm gonna make a little sign and also I'm gonna put it on wheels because I want them to be able to move it around in the room um, easily so I have 
basically a cut list and the pieces that I need to cut. I'm going to make the sides go from bottom to top and then cut a little diagonal piece out of it for the shelves that are for presenting the cakes. I'm going to have three shelves that go in here for the box. So one on the bottom, one right where uh, the diagonal piece starts and one in the middle to cut it into two sections. Then I'm going to have um, smaller shelves for the middle of this and for the very top and I'll need to find a piece for the front to cover it. I'm not sure I want to make it from um, the plywood. I have enough plywood to do it. I might cut it and figure it out but I think I want it to be um, something thinner maybe um, to put on the front to cover it or maybe something that have some texture. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of it. All right, I'm gonna go outside, cut some uh, plywood, and we're gonna start with gluing, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna add some screws to make it um, even more secure. Let's go build this bakery. So I already marked where all of my shelves are going to go, um, so it'll be easier to just go ahead and start and not need to measure while I do it. I also marked it on the other side um, because I want to know exactly where the middle is to put the screen. So I think I'm going to start with the middle one just because I feel like it would give me like a nice T for it to be standing up like this to put the rest of them, especially the edges. side I'm gonna close with the other side on top for this called Roman plaster. Um, I didn't want it to be white, but I also didn't want to put too much color in it. Let's put some wheels in. is painted um, and ready and on wheels turning around uh, which is perfect because then we can move it around the playroom and now uh, we're gonna start with the fun part so I got the sheet of acrylic um, it's covered um, in paper but it's clear um, and this is gonna be here it's not the exact size so I'll have to cut it um, uh, I'll measure and I'll cut it and then uh, I'm gonna use uh, construction um, adhesive to put it on and I also cut um, I painted in the same color when I painted this I painted like this nice molding and I'm gonna cover it around because I think we're gonna see the, the adhesive uh, the white adhesive and it's not gonna be nice so I'm gonna cover it around um, the glass and then uh, we'll have to figure out the bottom. <laughs>
yet with the bakery itself. I did figure out um, how to cover the bottom. Um, I wanted to add some texture and I found the solution at Ikea. And I'm gonna show you everything uh, when I put it all together. But I'm here in my craft room because I wanna make a sign for our bakery. Now, the bakery itself, uh, you saw the color that I painted it. Um, the piece that I'm gonna add for the bottom is like kind of a wood tone. So I do wanna add some color uh, in this sign. There's gonna be a lot of color with the cakes because the cakes are very colorful and this is why I didn't want to make the bakery itself very colorful. But I think with the sign we can definitely bring in some more colors. Uh, now I got this sign from um, the Dollar Tree and I kind of want to give it like a little bit of a retro vibe. Um, I actually took the inspiration, I saw this video of uh, um, these two ladies kind of making up like a whole apartment and they use so much colors and a lot of patterns so I want to do something like that here um, so I'm gonna do that uh, I'm gonna use my Cricut to have uh, the name of the bakery on top of the um, um, kind of background that I'm gonna paint this and then it will be time to put it all together So this is what I got to cover um, the front. Um, it's from Ikea. It's basically this kind of tray that's supposed to go on the arm of a sofa. So it's kind of flexible. I'm going to cover uh, the front with it, uh, glue it to the shelves and to the side. And I got another one um, to cover the whole sides actually. I'm gonna cut um, the right size and cover it. Um, I put it laying down because uh, it will be easier to glue it like this, obviously. Um, <laughs> and I'll do this, then I'll do my molding all around and it will cover uh, the glue that we can see through the clear uh, plexiglass. And then we'll add our sign and we'll be done. 